Guys, today I am spot hopping. Probably about four to five different spots. It was too windy to canoe, unfortunately. Actually, some spots probably wouldn't have been near as bad as I think. But I didn't want to take that chance and be out in that big open water by doing a float. So I'm just going to many spots that are real close to the car. Guys, spot number two, and it is completely out of the wind. How amazing. An old bridge from back in the day. And the old thing under, it used to go underneath right here. And it created a scour hole. I should be able to catch a crappie or two right here. And they're usually real big whites. They're also blacks too, but there's a good chance of getting a white out of here. Got one already. Yes, nice white. Yes, that took five seconds, guys. Holy cow. Oh, he got off. Oh, that was a big 13 inch white. Oh, Lord, man. Goodness gracious, man. Cannot believe he got off right at the dang bank. Got him. Yes, white crappie too. And it is a nice one. Oh my. Now that's what I came for right there. I've been kind of burned out on catching blacks. I like whites better. You won't hear many people say that, but I do. I enjoy white crappie. Nice white. About 12. fish in it and ice right now. Alright guys, second crappie and this is a black. Cool. Alright. Had to turn off the camera there for a while because it rained just for about three minutes. Nothing major, not enough to matter. All right, little black. He's only about seven. Got both black and white and spotted. Three kinds, three fish. I got something besides the 10 inch spotted. They have been just robbing me. Making it where I can't catch a crappie because they're in the way. This is one of the biggest long ears I've ever caught, especially on a minnow. Thing is really fat. Actually, a cool fish. Now that's a spotted bass, or a largemouth. Yes, it is, largemouth. Now that's more like it. Oh, I 
I'm lucky if he don't get off. It's barely hanging on there. Hey, finally a real fish. I'm still leaving this spot, guys. I'm going elsewhere. Because it's just slow here. I don't know what happened. It was really good before it rained. And after it rained, it just got bad. It's not a bad largemouth. These are actually rare in this river. It's about 95% spotted. That high, I'm not joking. So to get a large mouth is a blessing. It's not a bad fish. Go crappie, yes, big one too. Yes. Finally guys, after like five sunfish and two little bass, I got me a crappie. It's not a white like I'd hope, but it's a nice black. Turned out to be a good, beautiful day out here actually. Took patience thinning through those baby fish. What a tap. Nether crappie, yes. Oh yeah, oh my, nice one. Nice black. Well guys, spot hopping finally paid off. I was starting to have a bad day, honestly. It was just kind of bland. These two fish really helped right here. Two fish alone help. Indeed. Big slap. Oh, I got a bass. This has got to be it. If it's a crappie, it's a giant. Bass. It's a nice one, though. I'll give him that. Finally, a decent one. This day really turned around. This took me going to spot number three, I guess. Deep, half decent spot. 
not have been way nothing to go 10 inches. This guy's at least 13. Crappie. It's a big one too, finally. That's a nice one. Another black. Man, I should have brought my bucket, guys. I should have brought the bucket. It's amazing how much one tree, how many fish will hold on one dang little tree branch. Just, that's my fifth one and the bass from that one branch. Pretty cool, man. Actually turned the day around. Nice blacks. They're not huge, but they're all ten. Nine and ten. Not bad. They're keepers. They're not huge by any means. They're decent. There we go. Oh my goodness. Wowzers. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. Oh my. Now that's nice crappie. Finally a 12 inch black guys. Yes. <laughs> now that's more like it. The 12 inch black. Yes, just crappie after crappie, guys. Well, there went my men up. My lord. Guys, I've caught a lot of these off this one tree. A ton. Got him. 
Another nice one. Another 12. Finally a white, yes. Yes. White crappie. That's what I'm talking about. Finally a second white crappie of the day. another one. How many crappie are down here? Holy hell, on one tree, man. And I'm throwing them back. you think it would spook them. I mean, they gotta be going right back in there. I don't see any signs of me catching double. None. I could have filled an entire bucket of these guys. Hoping for that rare chance at a black nose. Just not yet. This is got him. Another white, yes. Heck, you know it's a black. I was wrong. I was wrong. He's eleven. Sure did. Does not matter if the minnow is even alive. God. Well guys, this went from a really bad day of being off and on in the rain, losing every fish to hooking every fish and just slaying them, man. I cannot believe this. I seriously went from catching four fish in three hours to catching 30 in the last hour. In the sunshine, the front passed through and it's blue line. Like I said, it's very strange that you catch fish after the front passes through and it clears up. I've never experienced this, honestly. Slab. Biggest one of the day, maybe. Close. Oh my gosh. They're slowing down, guys. But I'm lucky it lasted as long as it did, honestly. It ain't often that you can sit at one tree and catch 40 crappie. It's Alright guys, it just got real dark and it is raining again. It was clear and sunny for two hours and the fishing was just epic. So now I don't know what's going to happen. It's 
getting real windy, real dark, and raining. Still managing to catch them so far. Another black, another 11. Decided to spend the last hour before dark trying to catch a walleye or sauger instead of doing what I've been doing. Instead of fishing for crop, I'm going to try to get an evening walleye or sauger. Just went real slack. It came towards me like five feet. I'm just waiting for it to go out. I mean big time. It's obvious it was not wind or any other thing. There's definitely a fish on here. I got double minnows on both poles. Setting out on the bottom with three quarter ounce weight. On a 90 degree bend. Oh yeah, I got something. Got him. Please be a walleye. Nope, bass. Hey, it's a nice one though. Real nice one. Take him. Wow. Hey, it worked. It's one of the nicer bass of the day. Another 13. It took both minnows are gone. It actually worked, guys. It worked. Awesome. He's a pretty good spotted bass, actually. It's not bad. Not a bad, not a bad bass. 13, like I said, spot. Not the kind I'm after, but I'll take it. I got me a walleye. Yes. About 18. It's a nice one. Whew. It wasn't a waste of time to come here. The, the thing is with them, they won't bite in the daytime. They only bite right when the sun's coming up and right at dark. And you know what's weird? I, was, I debated throwing it there because I noticed it's about 15 foot deep over there and it's only eight in front of me. I said, oh, well, I'll leave it. Because really that ain't... But they do come shallow to feed. Hey, that's a walleye, huh? Yeah. Oh, my. Nice yeah, it is. Oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's nice. I'm going to have to try to clean him off. It's, it's about two pounds, ain't it? Yeah. There ain't no way I can clean this guy off, is there? Oh, my. If I hold him with this, I can't. Yeah. <sighs> Can you do me a favor? Can you ho just hold my camera? It's recording. And I'm going to hold the fish. All you got to do is hold it in your hands like this. It, you can see the screen and everything. Mm. All right, guys, I got what I came for. Nice little walleye. He's about <laughs> 19 or 20. Flare for me, buddy. There mm -hmm. you go. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. That's a nice one, yeah. Man. Yeah. I'm going to keep him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you keep him, man. Yeah. He is man. a keeper. Man, I don't got nothing to put him in, but I can put him in the middle bucket on the way home. Yeah, yeah. Man. It... Put him so way he get back in that ditch. Yeah. I can't believe it actually worked. <laughs> yeah they they prefer the big three and four inch about actually four and five inch ones that's why i was kind of i didn't think i'd get lucky because those 
ones from Money Miser are so small. Yeah. But hey, if they're hungry enough, I guess. Oh man. Yeah. The one close. 